In this video, let's take a look at the solution for binary search. I'm here on replit with an index.js file. Let's begin by defining the function signature. Function binary search parentheses and curly braces. The function will have two parameters. ARR, which represents the sorted array we have to search, and target, which represents the element we have to find in the array. For example, calling the function with an array being a list of five numbers and target equal to 10, 6, and 20 should return 4, 3, and minus 1, respectively. Now, from our pseudocode in the previous video, we know that finding the middle element is key in searching for the element. And for that, we're going to make use of two pointers. The two pointers, if I can call it that, will point at the leftmost and rightmost elements of the array. So let left index is equal to zero, since array index starts at zero, and let right index is equal to array.length minus one. In our example, left index is equal to zero and points at the first element minus five, and right index is equal to four and points at the last element 10. The next set of operations we repeat as long as the array is not empty. So we add a while loop with a condition that runs the loop as long as the left index is less than or equal to right index. While left index is less than or equal to right index. Now in each iteration, we find the middle element. So let middle index is equal to left index plus right index divided by two. If we have an even number of elements, middle index might be a decimal. So we use math.floor to return the lower integer value. In our example, this would be zero plus four divided by two, which is two. Left is zero, right is four, mid is two. The middle index points at element four. We now check if target is equal to the middle element. If target equals array of middle index. If it is, we return middle index. In our case, six is not equal to four, so we continue. And now comes the interesting bit. We now decide if we should pursue the left half of the array or the right half. If target is less than the middle element. So array of middle index. We change right index to middle index minus one. Else, that is, if target is greater than the middle element, we change left index to middle index plus one. In our case, the target element six is greater than the middle element four. So we change the left pointer to point at middle index plus one. So left now points at element six and right continues to point at element 10. The left index is three and right index remains four. And remember, we do this because the array is already sorted. We know that six has to lie 
to the right of the middle element since 6 is greater than the middle element. At this point in time, since left is less than or equal to right, that is 3 less than or equal to 4, we repeat the while loop. We calculate the middle index again, which is left plus right divided by 2. So 3 plus 4 divided by 2. That is 3.5, but mat.floor will convert it to 3 and middle index is now 3. We check if the element at the middle index is equal to the target element. 6 is indeed equal to 6 and we return 3 as the middle index position. And that middle index is the position of the element in the array. Our code will return from binary search function. Of course, if the element is not present, eventually our while loop condition fails. In that scenario, we return minus 1. This indicates the element is not found. This is pretty much your binary search algorithm. Let's verify by running the code. Click on run. And we see the three values corresponding to each function call. Our code works as expected. What I would like you to do is take a pen and paper, trace the function execution for this array and target is equal to 10. That will improve your understanding of the code we have written. All right. Next, it's time to determine the big O of our binary search function. Pause for a minute and determine the big O. Here is the cheat sheet which can be used as a guide. Pause now or let's estimate the big O together. Our function contains one while loop, but the detail is inside the while loop. In every iteration, we reduce the input size by half. So the time complexity of our function is O of log n and not O of n. n here refers to the size of the array. The number of instruction executions increases as n grows but not by the same amount. Time complexity is logarithmic and not linear. Alright, in the next video, let's take a look at the recursive solution to binary search. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.